welcome to the province of Apayao. Hi everyone! Hi! I can hear you! Hello! Hello! Well, that's the spirit. Good morning everyone! I am Susana Cordaro or you can call me San and I am your KK Tour Guide for today. Bringing us in our destination, our season driver, Manong John. Say hi to Manong John! Hi Manong John! But before we start our tour, I have here's a rules to follow. Rule number one, don't dare to leave your things unattended. Rule number two, don't dare to leave your group without asking permission. You may not know the way back. And rule number three, enjoy. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but memories, and kill nothing but time. And in case of emergency, don't hesitate to approach me because I am always ready with my first aid kit. Where can I find a payout? So many questions. 1. Awesome answer. Apayao is located in the Cordillera Mountains of Northern Luzon. This mountain range forms a natural boundary between the Ilocos region in the west and the Cagayan Valley in the east. The Apayao River rises from its extensive watershed along its western slope and peaks. The river courses along the heartlands of the province Minders beside the town of Gagbugao, following a northward road towards the Pacific Ocean through the coastal town of Abulog, Apayao. Let us also know a first little trivia about Apayao and Kalinga. So on February 14, 1995, Apayao and Kalinga were split into two separated and independent provinces. Apayao has also three languages, namely Ilocano, Isneg and Tagalog. But before we jump to Apayao's cuisines, cultures, and attractions, let us know first their history. According to a legend, Apayao is derived from the combination from the Ilocano word apay, meaning why, and Tagalog word ayo, meaning don't like. The legend tells of an Ilocano and Tagalog who accidentally met in one forest of the province. The Ilocano asked Apay Adaka Ditoy, to which the Tagalog answered Ayaw, thinking that Ilocano is offering food. Not understanding each other, they fought. Men from a nearby village, the two men fighting and hearing the word Apay and Ayaw. The place was then referred as Apay Ayaw by the villagers. Thus came the name Apayao. Visit and experience Apayao as you discover their culture. Don't miss the Siam Festival celebrated every February 14. It is in celebration of the founding anniversary of the province and Isnag's grandest feasts are celebration of feasts featuring and ushering the traditional way of Isnag Thanksgiving to the higher supreme and seen being called alawagan, executed and commenced through ritual spice with pep songs, native chants, and dances called tap and tadu. The holding and celebration of Siam am in the older days connotes status that the family is respectable. When visiting Apayao, make sure to leave an extra room in your luggage for souvenirs. They were more affordable than those in the city. Add your collections with these wonderful and handmade things that are only available in Apayao. The nail travel necklace and earrings, named after the indigenous people in our country. These statement collections are made from lightweight, colorful beads, thread strands, diamonds, and metals. The Sipatal. It is considered one of the most beautiful tribal ornaments of the Cordilleras, worn only by the ethnic tribe of Northern Apaya. Vital statistics of 362436. You wouldn't say no no to their delicious delicacies. With Apaya's highest point sitting at 2,926 meters above sea level, it is easy to attribute the people's preference for spicy food to their location. However, the real reason why chili is present in every Isnag meal are its health benefits. Add sweetness in your life with Sinan Dila. It is a sticky rice dessert staple and dining table. It is wrapped in banana leaves and steam, often served with a generous drizzle of latik or coconut curds. 
Savor the spicy sinner sore. It is made of eel or catfish cooked with banana heart or gabi. This is stuffed in bamboo tube and cooked in open fire. Also a great try and is best paired with a bottle of ice cold beer, the pinalatan. This dish is made of either fried pork or chicken intestines and mixed with chopped pomelo, leaves, chili and salt. Get your feet wet, climb the peaks, explore the caves, enjoy nature tripping with the Payao's Top 10 Best Attractions and be one of your bucket list. The Gulalan Falls is a breathtaking 33 meter high cascade that comes with its own rainbow thanks to the surrounding boulder that traps sunlight at the bottom. The falls can be reached after a grueling 30 to 45 minutes downhill trek. The name comes from an old folk tale concerning a kiwat or eel and an aguning, a fish related to the dilapia. The stony ghost that both wanted to climb the falls, a task only the iwat can have accomplish. The Mount Kilang. Standing at 1,656 meter, Mount Kilang is recognized as one of the highest points in Upper Apayao. Its striking silhouette enveloped by a sea of clouds that could rival that at Mountain Pulags can be sighted from the boundary of province and Ilocos Norte. It is best visited at around 4 to 5 in the morning with a thick jacket and a cup of freshly brewed Isnag coffee in hand. The Carmelo Falls. Just a few minutes away from the Avas Garden is Carmelo Falls, a majestic cascade fringed with lush vegetation situated beside the main road. The best vantage point is from the bridge of the same name. Since the picture's view offers a soothing break to weary travelers, traversing the Claveria Kalanasan Highway. The Belang Cave. There are two ways to reach Kunara's Belang Cave. One is via a 40-minute tricycle ride through paved roads, while the other is by crossing knee-deep muddy trails and waist-deep rivers with gushing waters, which takes about 1.5 hours. Once you reach the jump-off point to the cave, reward yourself for surviving the track or extremely bumpy ride by jumping into the cool lagoon. The Kelbet Hanging Bridge. If you think crossing a hanging bridge is a hard stopping enough, try one whose maximum capacity is yet to be found out. Since it's being built last year, Kelbet Hanging Footbridge was played a big role in the daily lives of the residents. The Tupag Rock Formation is a cluster of jagged limestone boulders 7 to 8 feet high. Climbing each one is no easy feat, so it's highly suggested to you, my lovely tourists, to don the proper footwear and protective gear to avoid accidents. The Lusok Crystal Cave and Underground River is one of the best features of the town. Nature's beauty at its best. The picture of the cave and Green Placid River looks inviting in real life as it is in stills. Expect rough and muddy roads, river crossing and slippery trails along the way. A real adventure but a worthy one. Matagisi Church Ruins serves as a reminder of the Spanish influence in the town of the Puntol, Apayao. Originally built in 1608, the church ruins is approximately 6 meters high and was built from red bricks and river stones that were able to withstand natural calamities and bombing from the uprising during the American-Japanese rule. Until now, it is being frequented by regular churchgoers and devotees alike. Maton River, surrounded by lush forests and massive boulders. Maton River is an enchanting stream in Lower Maton. It flows into a small cascade and drains into a small pool at the bottom. The Apayao River is a Philippine river found along the Cordilleran mountain range of northern Luzon. It is one of the five largest rivers in the Philippines. Apayao River is dubbed as one of the cleanest rivers in the country. Thank you tourists for sharing your time with us. Hope you can get more knowledge and keep coming back in our province. Apayao, Ipasindayao! <laughs>